Humans need to travel and transport their goods and services to satisfy their needs. In the past, people of different places and cultures used various ways to achieve their mobility despite their difficulties. Today, many human societies, Nigeria inclusive, depend on a land as part of their transportation infrastructure. Interestingly, Nigeria has the largest road network in West Africa, which accounts for more than 90% of transport services in the country. It covers over 195,000 kilometers, out of which a proportion of about 130,000 kilometers are rural roads. Niger State, North Central Nigeria, which is a land of immense natural resources, the largest and major contributor to agricultural productivity, has about 21,000 kilometers of rural roads, many of which are poorly maintained. To tackle this disturbing phenomenon, Niger State Government signed a partnership agreement with the Federal Government of Nigeria and the second Rural Access and Mobility Project RAM2, a World Bank and the French Development Agency co-financed initiative. Because Niger State is vast in terms of landmass, there is infrastructural deficit in the state. So, and that is why the government of Niger State uh, deemed it necessary to key into this project in order to improve in the uh, infrastructure status of the state, especially within the rural areas. Precisely, from the 22nd November 2013 to date, the second Rural Access and Mobility Project RAM2 has been building and adequately maintaining a healthy large infrastructure to boost income-generating opportunities and social services amongst rural agricultural workers who constitute a significant proportion of our population. Construction vehicles are busy as they are being used for rehabilitation and construction of river crossings of various sizes, as well as port improvement of selected communities for easy access to the rehabilitated bridges and culverts across the three geopolitical zones of Niger State. This documentary provides an insight into the significant impact made on the lives of rural dwellers by the Niger State Rural Access and Mobility Project RAM2. Niger State is one of the six states in Nigeria benefiting from the second Rural Access and Mobility Project RAM2, funded by the World Bank and the French Agency for International Development. I find these development partners very useful, uh, especially because their activity is mostly uh, rural area based and it's able to touch the lives of people as well area. And those areas have great agricultural potentials, so it eases movement of uh, agricultural produce from uh, rural areas to markets. We have a long list of roads that we get from the Ministry of Local Government and Chief Tassi Affairs. Having this uh, list of roads in the state, we now rearrange it in order of priority, giving the consultants some set of uh, criteria. The project is made up of three components, including upgrading and rehabilitation of rural transport infrastructure, as well as community-based road maintenance through employment of members of communities along the project's routes. The project also comprises management and strengthening of regulatory framework through implementation of sound rural transport policies. The Federal Republic of Nigeria and the Niger State Government having fulfilled partners' obligations under the Project Partnership Agreement, the second Rural Access and Mobility Project RAM2 swung 
into action immediately. Since then, it has been work, work and more work on ending to enable it make a significant impact on lives of the rural dwellers. Under the Governor Abubakar Sani Bello-led administration, over 500 kilometers of rural roads cutting across the 25 local government areas of the state have been rehabilitated in addition to the construction of over 30 river crossings and spot improvement of selected communities for easy access to the rehabilitated bridges and culverts. We're going to be doing more of that because I, I, we acknowledge and we realize that um, uh, the more we provide access routes to our rural communities, uh, the more activity to our market and uh, that will also increase our GDP. The construction and rehabilitation of the 55.32 km Kutugi Dansun Tashan Ajia Rural Road, 14.43 km Doko Gaba Shishi Road, and the Pati Bokungi Jebo Ambasa Road in Lavung local government area of the state, as well as the 11.2 km Wuya Kanti Etsu Tasha Road by the second Rural Access and Mobility Project Ram 2, have contributed to the transformation of the communities along the project routes. Uh, it takes commuters five to six hours from Kutigi to Tasha Ajia due to bad roads. But today, after intervention, there was another baseline that was conducted and the revelation is that it takes less than 45 minutes for you to assess Tesha Ajia from Kutigi. Uh, before we pay 1,000 or 700 to come out, but now we wanna don't do this route at 300. So if you get 200, seven, then go we carry you come out because the road don't good now. Other rural roads rehabilitation and construction carried out by the second Rural Access and Mobility Project Ram 2 in Niger South Senatorial District include the 42.14 km Badegi Eba Kateregi Road and the 39.93 km Wuya Suman Lemu Road in Kacha and Bako local government areas, respectively. The road, is, the road is too bad and before now is what is, is now okay. This is a shorted way. So when they want to travel from far away like uh, Mokwa, Lagos, they used to follow this road. They will not follow Bida again. This road before is no good at all. If, they, you go, if you say at that time, you go so far for this road. Am I now? It's better. This road has already bring good attraction to this village and to the neighboring village over there, like Batamangi, Yeti, and Charati, all the way to Tashaja. We used to have a lot of difficulties, from Takuti through uh, Kutiriku towards other communities there. A lot of them, when the rains come, their roads are impassable. But with the coming of ramp, the culvert condition, the bridges were brought up and today those roads are motorable all the year round. So it generally benefited from activities of ramp. The second rural access and mobility project Ram 2 equally undertook the construction and rehabilitation of some rural roads in Niger East Senatorial District, including the 10.6 kilometer road from Sulu Junction to Cabo Village and the 4.62 km from Sulu Junction Daku Bridge to Sabondiko, all in Tafa local government area, as well as the 21 km Suleja Abuchi Izom Road in Suleja and Gurara local government areas of the state. Another important rural road rehabilitation carried out by Ram 2 in Naja East Senatorial District is the 54.75 km Pandogari Basa Road in Rafi local government area of the state, whose impact is immeasurable considering the clusters of farming communities in the area that now have access to good road infrastructure, as well as the 25.84 km Kuta Kwaba Kafa. Lai Road in Chiruru, local government area of Niger State. That what we are going to find, we know they pack our things, go back to Suleja, we just leave it because no any motor that you can pass here, but this year, by the grace of God, our we can go to the house. So we are more benefited, like our those are motor now, they have no more spot in the road again, 
they are moved freely, our people are moved freely. To go up and down is not even ugly for us again. This is our road. Before, we used to suffer ourselves. Our wife and our, our mothers used to carry a lot with head, go sludge and ism. But now, there is advantage. We don't use to suffer ourselves with the inter machine, go sludge or ism. Even more to us with the inter. The day before, you no go fit to pass. But now, with the pass, whether or not wrong, more to the wrong. We thank God where they do for that one for us. But. Such constructions had, uh, in a way, uh, improved the socio-economic activities uh, of the people. Bangi to Kaswangarba with Sport to Galma Road in Mariga local government area of the state, a distance of 60 kilometers, is a good example of the positive impact that the second rural access and mobility project Ram 2 has brought to bear. The area blessed with vast tracts of fertile soil for cultivation of different crops has added value to the backward integrated policy of the federal government. With this ramp project from Company Mbobi to the local government headquarters, it has mitigated a lot of hardship for the people of the local government. Not just the local government, but I would say the state at large. We have also witnessed significant uh, increase in economic activities along our road corridors. Because we have improved access, people can now move with from their goods from one point to another, especially the farmers that can move their farm produce to the nearest uh, market. That also account for the reduction in post harvest loss. Uh, one of the most precious dividends of democracy we have today is rural roads. Other rural roads rehabilitated by the Niger State Rural Access and Mobility Project Ram 2 in Niger North Senatorial District include the 28.70 km Kampani Bobi Kaswangarba Road in Mariga local government area and the 36.6 km Auna Tungangjika Shafini Road in Magama local government area of the state. If you're traveling from uh, Luma to Shagunu, Almost all the traffics that are coming from the northwest ply our routes from Auna to Nganjika to Shafina to bust to connect to Mokwa then uh, uh, Lagos. Uh, the people in Shagunu world they are happy, they are appreciating, and they, they are praying for the governor to continue with RAM project. Niger State Rural Access and Mobility Project RAM 2 also carried out the construction and rehabilitation of Wushishi Makushidi Bidda Road, a distance of 22.85 kilometers. Before this work, we are suffering from this road because there is a whole hole. If rain come, we are not going to make it. But now, we are going to make it any time. Since the time where this road is not good like that, we, we, we are so very suffered if we want travel. But now, Everything where is bad before now we, we don't see them where we are now. We were farming rice and beans and guinea corn and then maize and so many farmers we are doing here now. This road we don't help us about our farming. We are happy and we appreciate those people that build that road. Thank the Almighty Allah because you see a lot of changes now. And, uh, the road was narrow and even bicycle riders experienced difficulties. But today, vehicles ply the road with ease. We appreciate the effort greatly. The construction of bridges and culverts to support the investment in the rural roads became necessary as a key component of the Ram 2 project in providing access to the roads rehabilitated. 30 river crossings of various sizes have been constructed by Ram 2 to provide rural dwellers with accessible roads to markets and hospitals across the three geopolitical zones of Niger State.
It is also aimed at providing linkages among communities and improve economic and social activities of the people along the project routes. You have opened up the roads now. One, the cost of uh, transportation has reduced, the time has reduced, our uh, school enrollment has increased, and we also have now better access to medical facilities. The construction of river crossings is in addition to the sport improvement in some communities totaling 116 kilometers. The bridges and culverts have not only opened up access to the rural communities, but have also controlled erosion challenges in the communities. I have gone around almost all the project site, the roads per se, and what I, we saw at the team, I think is encouraging. The community-based road maintenance component of the Rural Access and Mobility Project includes the use of members of the benefiting communities in the maintenance of rehabilitated roads to ensure their durability. This initiative also seeks to alleviate poverty in the rural areas with the employment of 10 members each in maintenance group, women inclusive, and payment of a monthly stipend, which has assisted the group members improve their living condition. Half maintenance approach. Now is the community-based road maintenance and the annual mechanized maintenance. Under the community-based road maintenance is a concept that we want the communities to take full ownership of these roads. And that is why we have identified young men and women living along the corridors of our roads. We have selected them, they have been trained, and we have equipped them. They have been fully engaged, providing routine maintenance, clearing of vegetation along our roads uh, corridor, the silting of the culverts, and uh, patching of some of those, uh, the potholes they notice on the, on the roads. They are paying us 20,000 20, every month, though we appreciate them. I marry newly, I use it to support my husband, he used to use it to buy fertilizer. Then when you come to sell the sugar cane, we will be able to use it to buy a land, a piece of land. We are working for the ramp, for the road maintenance from Lemon to Weir. The happiest one that just happened, 20 youth who was also employed, giving appointments so that they will maintain uh, each kilometer, one person will maintain it. So it was a very good one to me as a council chairman. The Niger State Rural Access and Mobility Project RAM2 provided the group members with training and working tools. The Rural Access and Mobility Project RAM2 has also brought about direct impact on the lives of the rural dwellers across Niger State. In Niger State, we have constructed 176 kilometers of roads in our first phase. And uh, at the moment, we have uh, we are constructing 403 kilometers of roads. And uh, by next month, we'll be taking over all the key roads. Aside from opening the roads, there are also river crossings. Let's make this easier, shorter and safer for them. Niger State Government is also committing 6 billion Naira to further improve transport conditions and bring sustained access to the rural populace through surface dressing of selected roads rehabilitated by the second Rural Access and Mobility Project RAM2 across the three geopolitical zones of the state. We have paid billions to counter part funds for RAM. Uh, because we take every uh, development of funding partner as a major stakeholder towards the progress and development of our communities. RAM has done very well and now we have gone further to its office uh, uh, some of those routes. The Niger State Governor, by the special grace of God, approved uh, the sum of about 6 billion Naira because each time I have the opportunity of talking, I mention it because it's something that has never been done and uh, because of his passion for rural dwellers he has approved such amount of money to surface dress some of this road realizing the middle of this road and the contribution of the road to agricultural 
uh, uh, development of uh, the state. As far as uh, counterpart contribution is concerned, I think this is one of the projects that has his buy-in. This is one of the projects that has his own, uh, well, I would say, midwifed by the government because he's so passionate about road intervention because he believed that for any development to take place, there is need for an access road that uh, the general public of the state can now easily move in and out. The success story of Niger State Rural Access and Mobility Project RAM2 cannot be detached from the responsiveness of all stakeholders who have been instrumental in making the program a worthwhile venture. To maintain the standard already set, a stakeholders sensitization workshop has been held with the theme Promoting Rural Mobility and Adoption of Low Volume Road Manual. The critical stakeholders, including the national coordinator of RAM2, engineer Ubandoma Ularamu, deliberated on how best to implement low-volume road manual to ensure durability of rural roads built on the RAM2. The strategy is to institutionalize rural roads maintenance activities and by extension involve traditional institution with the aim of sustaining the rural roads built primarily for low volume. The development partners involved in the coordination, construction, rehabilitation and maintenance of rural roads on the RAM2 have rated Niger State Government as the best in terms of implementation of the project. Niger State is also among the best in terms of procurement, safeguards policies, financial management and technical expertise to manage rural roads. The letter of commendation addressed to Governor Abubakar Sani Bello and signed by the World Bank Country Director for Nigeria, Mr. Shubham Chanduri, and the Country Director of French Development Agency for Nigeria, Mr. Pascal Grangero, indicated that the rural roads and river crossings constructed by the Second Rural Access and Mobility Project provide an all-weather access for rural dwellers in Niger State. There are two things. One, implementing successfully, and two, being the best of a state. What about the sustainability of rural roads in Niger State? We are carrying out various sustainability studies to see how we ensure sustainability of our investment in the state. We have proposed to the government to transform RAMP to Rural Road Development Agency. That we are doing. We have constructed road asset management studies where policymakers can go and assess information as far as uh, the rural routes are concerned in the state. For the state to also have a buy-in to the next scheme of the project, which is RAMP 3. And at the same time, they should equally intervene since the national body has assessed us and they recognize our performance that we are best. So I don't want the, I mean, the state to hesitate in buying in for the next stage of the scheme. The impact made by the second rural access and mobility project in Niger State has set a precedent that if built upon, will completely transform rural communities of the state and leverage on the state comparative advantage in agriculture to self-sustainability in internally generated revenue and economic development. In all, it has improved social economic development of uh, the rural uh, areas. It has opened up the whole of the rural areas to social uh, economic uh, development. So, so many communities have been linked to social economic activities. That is the RAM2 story and a quest for excellence and better tomorrow for rural dwellers in Niger State.